A demonstration on forest fire mapping using support vector machine. Since the COVID-19 pandemic, incident monitoring and response became quite difficult. Forest fires, for instance, can be very challenging to approach when the root of the problem can't be ascertained due to lockdown restrictions. Satellite technology data availability provides spatial and temporal measurements, ensuring efficient and convenient space-based inputs. These data can be processed to aid analysis and minimize uncertainty in decision-making. Last April 6, Masungiji Reserve Park reported an incident of fire spotted in the mountainous areas of Rizal. We can initially determine the extent of burned areas by using the machine learning algorithm Support Vector Machine, or SVM. But what is Support Vector Machine? Support Vector Machine is a supervised machine learning algorithm that can be used for classification to discriminate classes of interest. In this example, the SVM classifier separates the two classes by a defined hyperplane. It uses a technique called the kernel trick to transform your data, and then based on these transformations, it finds an optimal boundary between the possible outputs. We can apply this using QGIS, an open source geographic information system application that supports viewing, editing, and analysis of geospatial data. Using Sentinel-2 pre- and post-fire images, we can detect land cover change due to the recent fire activity. This post-event image shows apparent burned areas from the fire. To start, from the processing toolbox, we can search Merge tool to create the pre- and post-image composite. Select the pre- and post-fire images as input layers, then follow the window settings shown, and click Run. The resulting raster will be used for the image classification. To create the polygons for training the classifier, create a new shapefile layer from the layer menu bar. An additional integer field should be added for the class attribute that will represent image features. Enable the toggle editing button and start adding polygons for each classes. End the toggle editing after creating enough polygons. Zooming in on the satellite image, we can initially see features such as built-up, bare soil, cloud, cloud shadow, vegetation, and burnt area. This will be represented by an integer input from the created class attribute. Training data were created for the following features. For each training polygon, homogeneous pixels of each class were selected to lessen variation for mixed pixels. Finally, Open the SVM classification window from the toolbox. A window will prompt and show the classifier parameters. Select a composite image as input for grid element, the created shapefile for training areas, and the attribute class for the class identifier. Leave the other parameters by default for now. This classification map is generated showing defined land cover classes. We can change the class color in the layer property symbology to represent each class intuitively. To compute the burned area, we can use raster layer unique values report from the processing toolbox. From the tool window, select the SVM result as the input layer, then click Run. The computation is viewed in an HTML link shown in a panel which shows the calculated area per class. Subsets from the observed change in the post-fire image shows detected burned areas in red. Burned areas for each subset has a computed extent of 3.79 hectares and 6.37 hectares. Near real-time active fire data from the Fire Information for Resource Management System, or firms coincided with the detected burned areas from the SVM classification. 
The fire pixel value is estimated to be at 330 Kelvin at 81% confidance. Fire occurrences in Rizal has been observed seasonally. The activity peaked during dry season of months March, April, and May. In perspective, high occurrence of fire has been reported this year. This is unusually higher for a non-drought year, unlike 2015 and 2016 when a strong El Nino hit the Philippines. It is possible that this unexpected finding may be attributed to socioeconomic imbalance due to the ongoing pandemic. This leads to an increase in demand of resources. For instance, coal making may have become more prevalent, which involves large-scale burning. Progression of the situation will be continually monitored and studied. SVM classification was able to map burned areas, allowing impact assessment and estimation of the affected regions. This can further be used for determining the cause of the event by analyzing it with related data and coming up with a systematic approach in dealing with the incident. As demonstrated, satellite remote sensing is a useful and efficient tool, especially amidst the constraints of physical and immediate ground assessment brought by this pandemic.